Hello and welcome to King of the Castle. It's a vicious battle for intellectual supremacy, where only the mentally fittest will survive. Let's meet today's nine seeking our quiz crown. They are Gary Palmer, a teacher from Wickford, Beverly Barber, a self-employed administrator from South Nutfield, Ken Foote, an electrical estimator from Worcester Park, Pat Dobbs, a health store assistant from Leon C, Kieran Young, a commercial officer from Crawley, Dave Martell, a help desk operator from Hemel Hempstead, Dennis Barber, a historical researcher from Flackwell Heath, Jeannie Gibson, a retired bank manager from Maidstone, and Andy Eden, an accountant from Bracknell. Let's get on with the game. In round one, all of the questions are on the buzzer. They'll test your general knowledge and your knowledge of the region. Buzz in and give me a correct answer, and you'll go into our multi-level game zone. Buzz in with the wrong answer, and you won't even be allowed to attempt the next question. Seven of you are going through. Quite simply, the first seven to give me one correct answer. Two of you will be remaining down and out. Let's play the game. What is the name of the lead singer of the heavy metal band Guns N' Roses? Andy. Axl Rose. Correct. You're the first to enter the game zone. Which square in London was originally laid out in the 1730s and derives its fame from a song by Eric Mashwitz and Manning Sherwin about a singing nightingale? Beverly. Barclay Square. Correct. You're through. How many squares are there on a chessboard? Dennis. 64. You're right, and you're through. Which Essex-born footballer captained England's 90... Gary? David Beckham. ...is incorrect. He wasn't even born in 1966 when Bobby Moore captained the World Cup winning side. Don't try the next question. Which country's folklore has a monster called a bunyip which lives by swamps and lagoons and eats women and children? <laughs> Genie. Australia. Is right. You're through. Five of you left, but only three places in our game zone. Which ITV hit show was originally going to be called Cash Mountain? <coughs> Ken? Said in century. Is incorrect. Who wants to be a millionaire? Don't try the next question. The other four of you? Which is the largest and strongest bone in the human body? <coughs> Gary? Femur. Fema's right, you're through. Which American film director left Hollywood for London in 1961 following the difficulties he ex... <laughs> Kieran. Alfred Hitchcock. That's wrong. If you'd waited, you would have known I was talking about the film Spartacus and therefore the director, Stanley Kubrick. Don't try the next question. The other three of you? What is the name of the official report of British parliamentary proceedings? It's Hansard, but you're all back in play. Who is the father of Patsy Kensett's son, Lennon? <coughs> Kieran. Liam Gallagher. Correct. This time, you're in. Three of you left now, battling for just one place. The famous statue of Eros in Piccadilly Circus was designed by Alfred Gilbert, but was it cast in bronze, <coughs> pat... Aluminium. Very well anticipated. You are through to the game zone. Ken and Dave, you came, you saw, but you were conquered. But thanks for playing. Today's seven heirs apparent to be king of the castle are Pat, Gary, Dennis, Andy, Beverly, Jeannie and Kieran. I have two questions for each of you, which I'll be asking in the order in which you entered the game zone. So, Andy, I'll be starting with you. But now, it gets nasty. Because give me a correct answer, and you win the right either to move yourself along or up, or an opponent along or down. But like the king in chess, you can only make one move, straight or diagonally, at a time. You may have noticed that the top spot's not yet in play. But I must warn any of you remaining on the lower level at this stage of the game, you're in serious trouble, because at least one more of you is going to be down and out. Let's start. Andy, on which ITV drama series would you find the characters Bob Cryer, Polly Page and Reg Hollis? The Bill. Your move? 
uh, straight up. Beverly, which London prison did great train robber Ronald Biggs escape from in 1965? Wormwood Scrubs? Incorrect. Wandsworth. Dennis, creator of The Simpsons, Matt Groening's parents are actually called Marge and Homer. One of his sisters is called Maggie. What's the other one called? No idea. It's Lisa. The same as the character in The Simpsons. Jeannie, which Scottish city's name literally means mouth of the D? Dundee. No, nope. it's Aberdeen. Gary, which American comedian plays Dr. Venkman in the film Ghostbusters? Bill Murray. Your move. Upright. Kieran, when Britain first at heaven's command is the opening line of which patriotic song? I don't know. Rule Britannia. Pat, which London theatre venue was home to the popular Sunday night variety shows first broadcast in the 50s and 60s and presented by Bruce Forsyth and Jimmy Tarbuck? The London Palladium. Correct. Your move. Um, upright. Andy, which Scottish word is the equivalent of the English word Lord? Laird. Your move. Straight up. Beverly, which branch of medicine is concerned with diseases of the skin? Dermatology. Your move. Straight up, please. Dennis, formerly known as PJ and Duncan, which duo present the Saturday morning show SMTV with Cat Dealey? Andy and Deck. Half right, but half right is not good enough. It's Ant and Deck. Stay where you are. Jeannie, what type of cricket delivery was invented by Reginald Bosenket's father? A googly? Just on the bell. Googly is correct. Your move. Straight up. Gary, what sort of animal is Tarka in the book by Henry Williamson? Otter. Correct. Your move. Straight up. Kieran, what was the name of Buddy Holly's band? The Dreamers. No, a little earlier for you, perhaps. It was the Crickets. Pat, who devised Coronation Street? You're out of time. It was Tony Warren. We now go on to the buzzer. You're all in place.